what do you want to remember most from your favorite musicians? Their records? Their instruments? Pigtails? Perhaps even their half-eaten French toast? Well, in this video, we will cover the top 10 most expensive music memorabilia in the world. Before we get down to the top 10, let us first give the Beatles an honorable mention with their custom Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band drum skin, which sold for $1.1 million. Due to technicalities, it didn't make our list of the most expensive drum sets, but this hand-painted drum skin certainly deserves recognition. So, beginning with number 10 is Elvis's 1942 Martin D18 guitar, which sold for $1.32 million. This famous 1942 Martin D18 guitar, which Elvis Presley owned between 1954 and 1956 and is frequently referred to as his Sun Sessions guitar, is his most significant guitar to ever be offered for auction. Elvis frequently recorded at the renowned Sun Studios in Memphis, Tennessee and performed live at this time using this exact guitar. He can be seen playing the guitar in numerous images taken around this time. Elvis exchanged his Martin 00018 for the guitar at the OK Hawks piano store in Memphis. The guitar's body was adorned with metal letters that were stuck on and spelled out Elvis in gold paint. The S is absent, however, but the characters ELVI are still present. Among the 20th century tragic events, Titanic holds its place as one of the most unforgettable. At the number 9 spot, this violin from the megaship was recovered from the cold Atlantic waters nearly a week after the famed ship's sinking. The violin, belonging to bandmaster Wallace Hartley, was said to have been playing the appropriate hymn, Nearer My God to Thee, while the ship was sinking. His body, being recovered from the waters days after the catastrophe, had the violin inside this leather case strapped to his back. After being handed over to his wife, after her death, it stayed in the family when it was finally discovered in an attic of a home in Britain in 2006. After seven years of verification, which included testing the saltwater deposits found on the violin, it was auctioned off in 2013 for the price of $1.78 million, a record for any Titanic memorabilia. A Porsche being on a most expensive list would not be far-fetched as the luxury brand has always been synonymous with wealth. When Janis Joplin bought this used Porsche 356 Cabrio from a dealer in Beverly Hills in 1968, she hired Dave Richards, a roadie for her band Big Brother and The Holding Company, to decorate it with a psychedelic history of the universe mural, making it one of the first genuine art cars and one of the most well-known and significant Porsches of all time. At the end of the 1960s, Joplin used the Porsche as her everyday driver rather than utilizing it as a stage prop becoming a well-known sight in San Francisco. She continued to drive the car after Big Brother broke up and during her time with the Cosmic Blues Band and Full Tilt Boogie Band. After 20 years on exhibit at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Museum in Cleveland, the automobile was put up for auction by Janice's siblings Michael and Laura Joplin. The recording console from Abbey Road Studio, which was used to record Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon and many other albums, fetched $1.8 million at auction, garnering the number 7 position on the list. From 1971 through 1983, Studio 2 at Abbey Road served as the home of the EMI TG12345 Mark IV recording console. Along with Pink Floyd, three Beatles, Paul McCartney, George Harrison, and Ringo Starr, as well as Kate Bush and The Cure, recorded solo albums on the console. As a result of a partnership between engineers from Abbey Road and EMI, just two TG12345 Mark IV consoles were produced. The other is now housed in Austria's Prime Studios after having been previously located in Studio 3 at Abbey Road and Studio 1 before that. The Studio 2 console was initially purchased by producer Mike Hedges from Abbey Road in 1983 when the studio improved its hardware. Hedges said that the console was still in excellent working condition and that he kept it in his own studio. Among the most recognizable and famous garments of the 20th century, Michael Jackson's Thriller jacket sparked a 1980s fashion craze and ended up in the number 6 spot. 
The jacket was widely imitated and sold to devoted enthusiasts all over the world. Jackson continued to wear jackets with the same design when playing the song Thriller throughout the course of his career, since the black and red style of the jacket became so recognizable with the release of his groundbreaking extended short film slash video for the single Thriller. Jackson owned two jackets created by Deborah Nadelman Landis, both of which he wore while shooting the lavish music video for the single Thriller. This jacket is one of them. The Michael Jackson estate has loaned the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland, Ohio, the other jacket, which is on exhibit there. On the interior lining of the jacket, black marker is used to write, To Bush and Dennis, All My Love, Michael Jackson referring to his longtime costume designers. In addition, the sleeve bears the black marker signature, Love, Michael Jackson. At number five is this cherished black Yamaha baby grand piano, which is at the heart of an extraordinary story. Freddie Mercury's Yamaha G2 Baby Grand Piano sold for $2.1 million during an auction for the Queen frontman's belongings. Mary Austin, a close friend and former partner of Mercury, drew bids totaling millions of dollars for items that he left in her possession. This piano, which Mercury searched high and low for, was purchased for around 1,200 pounds in 1975 and was delivered to England directly from Japan. That same summer, it was put to work, crafting out his most ambitious project, Bohemian Rhapsody. This rock and roll legend left behind some great music and left behind some valuable memorabilia. Fans are fervently seeking out more than just John Lennon's musical instruments. The musician's Rolls Royce was sold at auction for $2.3 million in 1985, which is comparable to $6.6 .6 million in today's currency. Jim Pattison, a successful Canadian businessman, purchased the Yellow Phantom 4 to display at the Vancouver World Exposition on Transportation and Communication in 1986. Lennon bought his first automobile, a 1965 Ferrari 330 GT, six months prior to this Rolls-Royce Phantom 4 limousine, which he bought at age 25. Even though the Rolls-Royce was opulent when it left the factory, it simply didn't fit his style. The situation soon went Lennon's way, however. Along with tinting the windows and adding a TV, he turned the back seat into a bed that could be folded down. In addition, he installed a unique sound system, a phone, and a refrigerator. Naturally, the initial black paint was also meaningless, so John hired the same gypsies who hand-painted a camper with psychedelic themes for his garden to do the same for his car. With the ensuing bidding war for this vehicle, that choice proved to be very appealing. The next top three items combined have millions upon millions in value, beginning with number three, the hip-hop group Wu-Tang Clan's seventh studio album entitled Once Upon a Time in Shaolin was the most expensive piece of music ever sold when it was bought straight from the Wu-Tang Clan in 2015 for $2 million. There was only one physical copy of the record produced, and there was no way to download or stream it online. Over a six-year period, the album was secretly recorded. One two-CD duplicate was created in 2014 and kept in a safe deposit box at the Royal Mansour Hotel in Morocco. In 2015, the copy was put up for auction by Paddle 8. The record can be played at listening parties, but it cannot be commercially exploited until year 2103, according to a legal agreement with the buyer. In 2021, the album was resold by the U.S. Department of Justice for $4 million to cover the debt owed by the original purchaser who had been convicted and jailed for securities fraud. The whole 232-page Second Symphony manuscript by Austrian composer Gustav Mahler, written in his own hand, sold for an astounding four and a half million pounds at Sotheby's of London. The composer's original deletions, modifications, and annotations, many of which were made with blue crayon, are included in the manuscript, which was made available for sale for the first time. U.S. entrepreneur Gilbert Kaplan once owned it. Sotheby said in a statement that the piece retains the form in which Mahler left it, reflecting and revealing the compositional process for the work. The Resurrection Symphony, an immense composition by Mahler for a 90-piece orchestra, soprano, and alto soloist, chorus, and organ, had its world debut in Berlin in 1895. This symphony by Mahler deals with issues of life and death, 
It has long been among his most appreciated works since it is his most approachable and possibly best early handling of such fundamental issues. Through the auction house Sotheby's, a life-size statue of Michael Jackson with his pet chimpanzee, Bubbles, was sold for $5.6 million in 2001. Jackson purchased Bubbles from a Texas research facility in 1983 and brought the pet home. The press asserted that he was Jackson's closest and most dependable buddy, accompanying the singer on his global tours and helping around his home. Jeff Koons based his sculpture on a press image of Michael Jackson and Bubbles. Jackson had already achieved international stardom as a performer by the time the sculpture was made. He was at the height of his career as his album Bad, a follow-up to the uber-successful thriller, set sales records upon its release. The King of Pop reserves his seat up top at number one. We've made videos on other expensive items from music history, which you can check out here. And in that process, we encourage you to subscribe to the channel to continue receiving education on all things luxury. This is Luxury Alust. Toodles!